story. Yeah, a lot of worthwhile causes yeah, to give to. So sure. this time of year. Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. All right, well, we are turning the page. We're at Christmas Eve, 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 as right. I yeah, yep. declared it. Uh, Christmas just a few days away. That white Christmas idea that, I mean, literally 48 hours ago, maybe, you know, a little bit longer, uh, I was up in the newsroom saying, I'm just crushing dreams of a white Christmas up here. Yeah. Uh, it looked dry and colder and Things have changed. We've made some uh, big tweaks to the forecast, yeah. really just depending on what our models show us. So a perfect example of how quickly things can change. Download our KBY2 mobile app. Uh, I think this is a good you know, indicator, especially if you're traveling. There's right. an interactive radar on there, hour by hour forecast, and it just kind of gives you the potential to kind of keep up with the changes because, uh, yeah, it's drastically different than it was a couple of days ago. So we'll get you started this morning. But historically speaking, uh, well, not super likely that we get a white Christmas in Boise. Uh, only about a 9% probability that we'll have one inch of snow or more on the ground and that is what technically classifies it as a white Christmas. The other 91% of the time, well usually or probability wise, uh, less than an inch of snow or none at all. So what's happened? Why have every, has everything been changing? Few different things going on here. Overall models are trending warmer and wetter. So as far as the warmer is concerned there, the Arctic air that we've been talking about, that big Arctic blast that was going to kick off winter with a bang, uh, isn't going to have as much impact on us as we originally thought it would. So that's a good sign. And instead, we're talking more about wet weather, wintry weather, though, because temperatures are still going to be cold enough for snow. So snow coming later today, uh, rain and snow showers possibly this afternoon, but turning over to snow through early Saturday. And because we're going to see a cold front affiliated with this uh, swinging in from the north, once it drops down uh, and kind of sends that colder air washing through southern Idaho, uh, the snow is going to stick, so we are talking about the potential for some snow covered roads uh, out there later tonight and into tomorrow morning. Then there's more snow possible on Christmas Eve. This one courtesy of a storm out in the Pacific, and that's where I'm saying the pattern is just trending wetter. We're breaking down that ridge of high pressure that has kind of acted as a roadblock for us as far as any storm. So we're flattening that out. Now we're going to hopefully allow things to get a little more active into the next week or so. So it does look to be an active week coming up, uh, which is good news for the ski areas especially. All right, satellite and radar this morning pretty quiet here in southern Idaho few flurries here and there, but most of the activity you can see well off to the north of us. All of this, though, is eventually going to start sinking down that cold front uh, sweeping through the area this afternoon and later tonight. So it'll start off first in the mountains. We'll kind of work through the timing of this and then talk about accumulation. So uh, this afternoon, snow showers firing up first in our northern mountains, then sinking further south and spreading out a little bit. So starting to fill in the lines here and uh, it could be a rain snow mix in the valley to start off. Temperatures are going to be a little warm. We should see highs climbing into the mid to upper 30s today. Uh, evening commute though could be impacted by this because we sped up the timing a little bit from those last model runs. So uh, yeah, you could see some snow falling or a rain snow mix, wintry mix, some of those winter elements on your drive home tonight. So I think if you are traveling, especially if you're getting in or out of town, uh, the earlier the better as things are going to start to get a little bit dicey in the mountains as we get into tonight and over into tomorrow morning, or at least there's going to be the possibility of those snow covered roads. So here's uh, just before two o'clock in the morning. Notice the snow still coming down or at least looking to across much of the region, even to tomorrow morning might see the last of this impacting you early Saturday. So wake up, might not only see some snow on the ground, might still see it coming down. So if you're running that YMCA Christmas run, I'll be prepared. If it all holds together, we could see some snow on the roads for that race. Uh, future cast again, then showing by Saturday afternoon, we dry out. So this storm again, impacting not just us, but much of the region. So again, heading into Eastern Oregon, Western Wyoming, out through uh, Eastern Idaho, certainly going to see some snowfall. Some of these areas could get hammered, uh, even down in the Salt Lake. So traveling could get a little dicey or a little bit more tricky at least later tonight into tomorrow. Then we dry out for Saturday. Then Christmas Eve, look what happens. There comes that next storm. This one again, marching in from the Pacific Northwest, kind of very uh, significant and uh, uh, or, I'm sorry, very resemblant of what we have seen with some of our past storms, sending snow our way out ahead of it really across much of the state at this point in time. So with this next round, I know the timing's going to change. We don't have a, you know, it nailed down as far as accumulation, but you can kind of see that next wave of winter weather rolling through Christmas Eve, possibly lasting into early Christmas morning. So yeah, there's two rounds of snow possibly on the way for us. So let's talk about round one. Uh, we do have a better idea of I think how much we are going to see uh, in the mountains two to six inches. You can see this is going to favor our west central mountain range, the Long Valley up toward McCall down into the Boise Mountains. So hopefully a good storm system for Bogus Basin and obviously want to see the ski areas squeeze out even more than six inches if possible. For us here in the Treasure Valley, I'm thinking kind of in general uh, one to two inches, kind of that ballpark figure. We could add in another inch tomorrow morning if this all holds together. Obviously foothills could see a little bit more. So we'll 
will kind of go with the ballpark of one to three. Out along the western edge of the state, though, I'd say less than an inch for many areas, so maybe up to an inch. Uh, then again, by Christmas, and uh, hopefully Brian is ready to do this jig this time today, uh, 33 degrees for the daytime high. Could see the flurries out there in the morning. Otherwise, mostly cloudy. I think that next storm mostly impacting us Christmas Eve. Uh, and then into the oh, extended back, forecast. You want to go back? Can you rewind? I can. All yep. Right. All right, let's show Brian. Time. He's He's been time. practicing this. <laughs> How'd I do? Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> All right. See, oh, now he's gone. Okay. Yeah. Do traffic, Seven day too. forecast. Uh, yeah, I could try. Uh, snow late in the day today. Some morning snow showers tomorrow. We get a little bit of a break before more Sunday into early Monday. And then just staying unsettled. High okay. temps, low 30s. Kids are probably happy to hear this. Yeah. If you're heading out, though, on the road, maybe get going a little earlier yeah. if you can. I